Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and today we are taking a look at a game called The Wandering Village. So, the premise of this game is our village, our villagers, uh, we're nomads because we've been displaced by some sort of toxic, poisonous spore, and we've come across this giant creature called an Anbu. And we're going to live on it, and we're going to take care of it, and it's going to take care of us, and hopefully we will survive together. So, this game is not currently available to the public. It will come out September 14th, but the devs have graciously given me a copy of it so that I can check it out a little bit early. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to see what the game's all about. Now, I have played a couple of minutes just to familiarize myself with the controls a little bit. So let's go ahead and hop into the game, and we will get started. So, new game. So we've got three difficulties. We've got Novice, Adept, and Veteran. Of course, the Village Elder shows you the ropes of how to take care of your settlement. Recommended for first-time players. We've got uh, the Adept. You start in a safe, familiar territory. Take care of your village as you slowly venture into more dangerous regions. Recommended for intermediate players. And then the Veteran. The world is harsh and unforgiving place from the very beginning. Survive by any means necessary. Recommended for experience. uh, experienced players. We are going to do the Novice. We need a saved file. So we're just going to call this... Disturbed Z Village. Okay, well, I guess I could put... I don't know if that's going to mess... Some some games don't allow the special characters, like, you know, apostrophes and exclamation part, uh, points and stuff. So I try to avoid them, but I think we should be okay. Okay, so here we go, the tutorial. Welcome, hello friend. I am the village elder and in charge of the good people here. Our people, the Niomans, have traveled far and endured many hardships throughout the years. But now we have come across an Anbu, an ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our encounter must have been fated. It, ha uh, it has most likely been asleep in the ground for a very long time. Maybe it woke up because the toxins keep seeping further and further into the earth. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read that Anbu draw their nutrients from the ground, so I wonder if it can sustain itself out here. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it is time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I can teach you a little of what I've learned, tutor you, even a tutorial, so to say. What do you think? I think that will be excellent. All right, let's see. Yes, we do have a pause feature. I love it when we have pause features. All right, so what do we got here? Elder's Notebook. The tutorial that appears here will teach you everything you need, but if you ever want to double check something or read about it in greater detail, you can always consult the Elder's Notebook. Open it with the button in the top right corner of the screen or with the G key on your keyboard. Boom. Elder's Notebook. Game goals. Try to survive for as long as you can. To do so, you'll have to provide your village with shelter and food, research new technologies, and scavenge materials from all kinds of biomes. Also, don't forget to take care of Anbu, your giant companion. If all your villagers or Anbu die, it's game over. All right, so the, the Elder's Notebook, we've got camera movement, game speed, select objects, tools, views, We've got all kinds of stuff here. We've got the Anbu backstory. 
uh, on boost stats. So yeah, it's pretty, ooh, yeah, it's pretty detailed. Wow, that's, it just keeps going and going. Yeah, that covers like just about everything right there. All right, so basic controls, move the camera around. We have completed that task. Next is pause the game. Okay, and then set the speed to four. There we go, we have done that. Basic controls, well done. Now set the speed back to one. We have done that. Uh, let's see, zoom in and out by scrolling. And then enter the on boo view and then the world map view. Okay, so that's the on boo. And then this is the world map. Okay. Construct at least six tenths. All right, let me see what do we got here. So let's just take a look at our on boo. I don't know what kind of creature he is, but he's kind of cool looking. Okay. Um, I'm not sure where to put these tents at. Uh, let's just do this for right now. So we will do tent, tent, tent. It says six of them. Tent, tent, and tent. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Hold on. Don't want to do that. And tent. All right, let's speed it up a little bit here. Okay, we got six tents. Gathering resources. Some of your village villagers are still uh, are still homeless. To build more tents, have them gather wood by harvesting nearby trees. You can always check on your villagers' needs by clicking the happiness indicator in the top right corner of the screen. Higher happiness leads to higher productivity. Harvest at least 10 wood. Construct at least 8 tents. Okay. So one thing that I do want to note here, guys, is that, like I said before, I have uh, I did play for a few minutes just to get the controls worked out. And I think each time you play, the Onbu's back changes. Um, so this one is different than the first one I was able to see. So just keep that in mind as you're playing. If you don't really like your setup, start another start another game and it should be different. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and we're just going to clear out all of these trees right here. In fact, yeah, let's not. Hold on. Let's not cut that tree because that tree still looks like a little bit of a baby tree. But we'll do that, and then it says two more tents, so let's do one and then another. Speed things up a little bit here. I like the animations. Everything has nice little animations. Everything from their little cloaks waving in the wind to the flags I like it all right food your villagers are going to need food one sustainable way to get food is by constructing a berry gatherer near berry bushes the berry gatherer can be found in the food category all right so food category one berry gatherer where is berry bushes there's some down here there's some more up here. Trying to see how many. See, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. If I put it up here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, those bushes aren't ready. Those are bushes? Hold on. Yeah, that is a berry bush. Okay, so these bushes down here are not ready to be gathered. Are there any over here? Uh, there's a few over there. Yeah, so I'm thinking that this area is probably the best for it. Um, and that'll be six, seven, eight, or we do this. 
Okay. I'm going to put it right there. All right. And then prioritize any task. We'll go ahead and we'll prioritize the building of this. There we go. Farming to ensure a steady supply of food. Build a farm on grass soil. All right, so we've got farm. Let's do what? Um, let me see if I can. Yeah, I want to keep this in line with that guy. We'll put the farm right there. And it does look like we're going to end up needing some more wood at some point. So let me go ahead and cut down a couple of these trees. Yeah, we needed like one piece of wood. All right, building setup. Your farm raised a flag to notify you that something is not working correctly. This is because it needs plots to plant its crops. Select the farm to add plots. In the same window, you can adjust the number of workers to make the building more efficient. Assign plots to your farm. Set the amount of workers in your farm to at least three. Okay, so let's select the farm. Let's select add plot. I'm going to put the plots, I'm going to put them next to the building. So we're going to do that many plots right there. And then it says increase to three. All right, water. Planting crops requires water. Build air wells to automatically collect water. Construct at least two air wells. Uh, air wells. Okay, those are a little bit beefy, but that's all right. We can, we can handle that. So I'm going to put in one there, and then I'm going to put in one here. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me, let me redo this. Let me put this guy in here, and then we'll put in another one next to it there. Okay, so let's do that. And, of course, I'm probably going to need more, more trees and whatnot. So let me come over here, and let's just harvest out a good chunk of trees here. Let's do that. And then I think we're probably going to need stone at some point. So let's grab these little, little knobs right here. That should be stone. Let's see. What do we got here? Boulders uh, can be mined for stone by adjacent quarry. Okay. So we have to have a quarry to mine that. The stone we can go ahead and mine. These guys are on boost spikes. Can be harvested but reduces on boost trust. So, yeah, that's, we're going to upset the Anbu if we cut his spikes off. Even if it means we need stone or we're trying to get stuff done, he's going to be upset. Um, we need a couple more, a couple more stones. I'm just going to tell him to go ahead and, like, just harvest these stones. That way we have them. He has a lot of spikes. Of course, there is still a good amount of stone, too, though, so... We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. Let's take a look at Anbu over here. He's walking. He's doing things. Okay. What do we got? These things. Mines. Quarries. Forest. Interesting. Quarry over there. That looks like maybe a lake or something right there. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here. Let's go back to our village. All right. So what do we got? Uh, storage. All the resources you are now producing will require some sort of storage. Build a pantry to store food, a water tank to store water, and a material storage to store various other resources. This can be found in the storage category in the building menu. Okay, which is what button? This one? Storage. All right, so I need material storage, water tank, and a pantry. Let's do the water tank. And ooh, that guy is bigger than I thought he was going to be. Okay, um, is there... I don't think there's a rotate button. Is there an E, R? No. Huh.
Okay, so... I don't even know. I guess let's do that, and then let's do material storage right here. And then I will do a pantry right there. Alright, so y'all do that, and then while y'all are doing that, alright, I've got stone select. What is that? Mushroom, a fully grown mushroom ready to be, wait, what? It just disappeared on me. Fully grown mushroom ready to be harvested can be turned into onbu food. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we don't have onbu food at the moment, so we're just going to have to hope for the best here. We're trying to sustain ourselves off of the onbu. Right now, we're kind of being like parasites. We're, we're taking from the Anbu, but we haven't really given anything to the Anbu yet. All right, research. To build more advanced buildings like a kitchen that prepares high-quality food, you'll have to research them first. To build a research building, which can be found in the village category in the building menu. Then select kitchen for research, either in the pop-up that appears when no research has been selected or in the research menu. Okay. So, let's see which one was the village tab. Here we go. Research. All right. So, I could put it here or I could put it up here. I think we're going to put it up here. We'll let them cut down those two trees. That's not a big deal. Ten wood, ten stone. Uh, I don't know how much, how much of either we have. We probably need to gather up a little bit more, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and grab a few more trees, and we'll gather up a few more stones. All right, choose your next research. Kitchen. All right, worker post. You are often going to need workers for basic tasks like constructing buildings and harvesting and transporting resources. Build a worker post to specialize the employed workers, ensuring that you always have someone to carry out these basic tasks while also giving them a boost in efficiency. So... Let's do a worker's post here. Let's see. Can I build it next to this guy? Let's build it right here next to that guy. I might need to do a couple more buildings down here, I think. Or a couple more trees, I should say. Let's get rid of those trees. And then I think maybe get rid of those two trees these two, this one, this one, handful of stone. All right, so what do we got? We need to do two workers as carriers. Okay, change that to carriers. We've got two workers. All right, since carriers only transport resources and don't build or harvest, it's probably best to set this worker post to general workers for now. Employ one more worker and switch their specialization back to general workers. One more, back to general, let's go. Roads. Roads can help you structure your village and offer a movement speed bonus for workers traveling on them. Construct at least 10 segments of dirt road. Okay, we will do dirt road. All right, so I kind of wish they didn't leave this for like the very, well, I don't want to say the very end of the tutorial because we haven't got to the end of it yet, but it would have been nice if, um, if they would have kind of put that, you know, it, to me, they should have done the houses 
and then had them put like the road in front of the houses just so that you're used to the layout and how to lay things out a little bit easier. All right, what do we got here? Roads. Uh, we are constructing roads. Good. Decisions. You have encountered a biome event that features a decision. Click the flashing icon in the upper right of the screen to see what has happened and decide how to proceed. Make a decision for the current biome event. Several biome events and scavenging locations feature these decisions. Always keep an eye out for them. Okay, so let's go over here. Uh, you've encountered a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join your village? Um, pick them up. Three healthy people joined your village. Nice. So I wonder if that means we can also pick up sick people since they specifically said healthy. I bet there will be sick people as well. So we'll have to be mindful. We might bring some sort of sickness into the village at some point. Resource refinement. More advanced buildings require more advanced materials to build. Construct a stone cutter and carpenter to produce stone slabs and wood planks. This can be found in the refined resources category. All right. So. Which one is it? It's the gears. Okay, here it is. All right, so we've got a carpenter and we've got a stone cutter. So I am going to do one here, one there, and like so. And then I'm going to get rid of that tree, that tree probably those trees as well okay looks like we've got plenty of stone down there okay so we got those buildings built uh, let's see food refinement build a kitchen to provide your villagers with refined food while also making food production more efficient the kitchen can be found in the food category. Wait, I thought it said... Did we not... Hold on, did we not research? Ah, we haven't researched it yet. Okay, we are almost there, so our building is actually ahead of our researching. We gotta let that get caught up for a sec. Alright, so choose your next research. Pick one of the two recommended research or open the research tree to choose more options. Village doctor heals poisoned villagers using herbs. Scavenger hut. Send out workers to scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. Ooh. I don't know which one we really need. Um, either one of them sounds like a benefit. I guess this one because it has a star on it. So let's do that and commit. And now we can build the kitchen, which I could put the kitchen right here. It's the same size as that building. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that with the kitchen? And then I can come back over here with the dirt road. And then we can just boom. And then everything's nice. That actually worked out. I had no idea that was going to fit right there. So that makes our village kind of flow a little bit. I like how it's flowing so far. We got our main little avenue. And then we got our little side stuff what do we need we still need tin wood tin stone slabs okay so they're having to make this stuff uh, they are making it we don't have any of this stuff selected okay so let me go ahead and select those three and we'll select a couple of these as well okay Well, so far, I am liking the game. I find it very interesting. So, all the little buildings and stuff. The Anbu, he's just running around doing things. 
Oh, what do we got here? We've got an Anbu feeding spot. We found a spot with fresh food for the Anbu. Yes, feed the Anbu. Feed him. Yeah, we'll let them harvest up that stone. I wish they would carry it back with them whenever they finished harvesting it, though. Because you know, well, we need stone slabs, and yeah, they don't have it. Not quite yet. We are, yeah, we are in the fast speed. Come on. Get her built. What are we doing, Anbu? Where are you at? Oh, that's a biome change. Ah, yes, we're coming into that green area. Nice. It'll almost be Anbu's feeding time. All right, get this building built. Uh, choose your next research. That one also has a star on it. So I'm just going to keep going with it. Do I need to build like a second resource still? Is that like what's going on? I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe we need another one. Come on, guys. Let's get this kitchen built. What is what is our holdup on the kitchen? Wood planks. Okay, so it's just a matter of crafting them. So it's going to take us a minute. We can't rush the process. So we do have two planks there, though. Okay. Seventy, sixty-six out of a hundred. Okay. I was wondering how much water that tank stored. Onbu's getting hungry. Are we at that food site yet? Not yet. Onbu is sleeping. Onbu sleepiness. Onbu poison. Onbu hunger. Yep, they're almost done. And there they go. Alright, kitchen is constructed. Village doctor. Research and build a village doctor and a herbalist to prepare your village against poisonous biomes. They can be found in the poison category in the building menu. Construct an herbalist, assign plots to your herbalist, research a village doctor, we've already done that, and construct a village doctor. Okay, so which one is the poison? Is it this one? Poison. Okay, so we need an herbalist. Um... Yeah, let's do an herbalist right there. Give me a road right there to it, and then... And then technically I could build a road right here. Yeah, let's build a road right there too. large mother tree 
Yeah, I don't think I want to cut the mother trees. I think we want to save those. Uh, give me a handful of trees over here. Grab a couple of those trees. And a couple of stones over there. All right, so we got this guy done. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and add some plots. We're going to do just like we did over there. We're going to add in four rows of four. So we have 16 plots. Excellent. And then I am going to need a village doctor. Which he's a bigger... Yeah, he's, uh, he's even bigger than that one. Okay, um, let's put him, I'm going to put him right here. Yeah, because I want him to be kind of close to the herbs. Okay, choose your next research. They want me to do a horn blower. Used to issue commands to Anbu, which it may or may not follow. Allows you to click on the crossroads on the world map to decide which way to go. Okay. So all we're lacking is the village doctor. Wood plank and stone slabs. Let's see, we have, yeah, we don't have any wood planks or stone slabs. Okay, so they, they basically make them as we're going at this point. We didn't have enough time to build up any. It's all right. Gives the herbalist time to get stuff planted too. Have we started moving again? We have started moving. Where is... Ah, we haven't made it to the food spot yet. Okay. Come on. Zoom in. Zoom in. Why do you not want to zoom in? Go in. All right. We need a couple more made, so it'll be a little bit longer before we get that done. He's at 30%. That one's at 4%. Grab a couple more stones over there. Grab a couple more trees right there. Because I know we're going to have to build the horn blower, and that's probably the next thing. Come on, we got this. What do we need? We just need two more stone slabs, which they are making right now. There we go. Get that village doctor prepared. All right. Disable buildings. The village doctor doesn't have anything to do as long as none of your villagers are poisoned. Disable it by now by clicking on the lock icon. Okay. Scavenging. A scavenger hut allows you to send out... Missions via the world map. These missions can yield rewards ranging from new villagers to raw resources. Once researched, the scavenger hut can be found in the exploration category. Okay, so we want to open up... We want to open up a scavenger hut. Okay, so what? why is it everything in X? Hold on. Um...
I'm trying to figure out why we have X's on everything, like... Does it have to be, like, on the edge of the... Hmm. I'm a little bit confused here. Uh, someone come harvest this real fast for me. Okay, so choose our next research. Cactus plantation. Learn how to grow cactus at your farm. Cacti are alternative water source in hot climates. Or we can do the Anbu kitchen. It wants us to do that one, though, I think. So we'll do that one. Let me go ahead and come back down here to the roads. I want a road stretched down here to this guy. For whatever reason... What do we need? We need wood planks and stone slabs. What do we not have? We have plenty of wood. We don't have any planks and we don't have any slabs. Are they placing them here? Eh, they put a couple here, so that's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more rocks while we're at it. And... Okay, and we'll grab a couple more logs as well. All right, we are looking good. All right, now the next one, corn plantation. Learn how to grow corn at your farm. Corn is a very heat resistant and requires very little water, but grows slowly. Okay, we can do some corn. So do they alternate crops by themselves or ah, I've got to select them. Okay. So right now we're growing beets and right now we're growing herbs because we've got plenty of water. Yeah, our storage tank is 100% filled, so that's good. And we are waiting on four more stone slabs to get made. Which probably means these two, and I think that guy just brought some. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So this is the last one for that one. Oh, we've got an event. Hang on, let me pause it here. Let's see. Onbu commands. Now that you have unlocked a horn blower, you can give Onbu a variety of commands. First, construct a horn blower. It can be found in the Onbu interaction category in the building menu and can only be placed near Onbu's head. Then access the commands by selecting the horn blower or going into the on boo view. Okay, so we need to build his horn, uh, which is down here, horn blower, and we have to put it up here by his head somewhere. Okay, so what I would like to do is, I don't know, did I really, oh, I messed up on my placement right there didn't I oh yes they don't have connection oh that's horrible I just saw that okay um of course we did that of course my pantry is not going to you know that's that's frustrating I kind of wish that they wouldn't have they should they should give you a warning if you're gonna like build on top of a road or something and maybe they did. Maybe I didn't catch it. But yeah, that that actually upsets me. I kind of want to move my herbalist down here now so that I can have that squared off more proper. Uh, okay, frustration. Um, I guess horn blower. let's get back to it because that is the thing that we need to get done. I'm going to put the horn blower right there. That's where our horn blower is going to be. So we're going to put it right there. And hopefully everything works out for it. Uh, what does it need to make? Wood and wood planks. Okay, well at least it doesn't take the stone. 
we are still laying on stone down here for this guy, and I think we're almost there with that. All right, let's see here. Okay, hang on one second here, guys. Okay, guys. Let's see. Did he get it? Okay, so we got two. How many do we need? What are we walking on down here? Hold up. What is this? Uh, Anbu sleeping spot. Okay. Anbu's going to get get a little, little nappy time here. Zoom in. There we go. You got to give it like a really big zoom to get in there. Uh, let's see. We've got the Anbu kitchen. Makes mushrooms into Anbu food. Yeah, let's do that. And then this guy, we are almost out of time here. He is not going to make it, I don't think. Uh, I've got too many things on my screen. Hold on. How do I send out a scavenging mission? Open map. Let me see. Where is Shrine? A place that holds an ancient artifact containing forgotten knowledge. Settlement. One of only a few remaining settlements that has not been swallowed by the poisonous plants. 12 hours, 10 hours. You know what? Send a party over there. Okay. I didn't, I forgot all about sending them. That was my bad on that one. I got caught up into some other stuff. Um, yeah, we still don't have the Anbu horn blower built. I need one more plank. Actually, I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Uh-oh, Anbu's waking up. All right, hold on. Here we go. So, horn blower used to issue commands to Anbu, which it may or may not follow, allows you to click on crossroads on the world map to decide which way to go. Uh, full staff required. Show interactions. So we can lie down, we can walk, we can run. The Anbu is 0% sleepy. We're at 20% hunger, 26% hunger, and zero poison level. So I think we're just going to let it, let it walk. Okay, and they are scavenging. Hopefully they bring us back something good. We'll get up here and we'll let the Anbu eat. Back to the village. So does it show us like what we brought back? Scavenging party returned. They brought back one knowledge. So what does that one knowledge do? Like, how do we access that? Can we access that? I don't know. Are we done with our tutorial? I think we are done with the tutorial, guys. All right. So, yeah, we've got, we've got everything that we need for right now. So we've got our village. I think it's sustained at the moment. Um, we've got water, we've got food, we've got resources, we're able to craft things, and yeah, so that's looking pretty good. We've got our scavenger parties where I can send them out to go do other things, and we have the ability to control the Anbu, or influence the Anbu, because unless the Anbu trusts us, he's going to do what he's going to do when he's going to do it. And we're just along for the ride at that point. But for right now, it seems like everything's good with them. So we're going to just keep on going. But that is our first look at the game today. I'm really excited, uh, guys. I like it. I think it is a very, very interesting, interesting concept. Because depending on where he goes, uh, that's going to affect us. But... There you go. That's our first look at the Wandering Village. Um, I do hope everyone will uh, 
come back for tomorrow's video. We're gonna we're gonna do a little series on this. We're gonna run this thing and see how far we can get off of it. So I do hope everyone comes back to it. But anyway, that's gonna be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.